So, welcome back to episode fucking 47. This is, what, like 15 months now we've been doing this? Jesus Christ. Uh, of Aftermath. Yes. Uh, so, Rick, you volunteered to do the recap. Why don't you go ahead? I totally didn't. Yes, you did. You, you did while you were in the other well, channels. You did volunteer. Um, you must have fallen asleep. You just didn't <laughs> say anything. Why do I hang out with all of you? Well, it's more to the point you were volunteered. <laughs> you're the only person. <laughs> so, Rick, what happened last session? Uh, stuff happened. Good description. Yes. Nailed it, Rick. Good job. We were in Yosa, we met Lisa's character. Um, Do you remember what Lisa's character is called? Yes. Good answer. But I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what Lisa's character is called? Yes. But I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> so I my tongue. God fucking damn it, Rick. Um, think of the movies with dogs. Dogs are dying. It is literally listed right. at the bottom of your screen, or it would be if you were in like, the roll twenty. No, it's, not, it's, it's, dog roll 20. This, this, it's the name of one of your like your mum's dog or something. I remember this being a thing. You were like, oh, my mum's dog. Right. Is like, Marley. Uncle. Ah, yes, Marley. There we go. Fine, you, took, you missed the fucking the, Marley the, and me. My mother's dog, but that from our point. boyfriends. Yes. Um, so yeah, we met Marley. Um, uh, then we did shopping. No? Um, things? Yes. What the heck did we do last session, even? Well, you're missing the bit where you learned about the world ending. Yes. Oh mm. yeah, that's... Oh, of course, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, of we course, had a talk yeah. with uh, Notchakes, aka, um. Notchakes. Hello, sir. Yes. Go on, do oh it. You'll get there eventually. Alyssa? Uh, Alyssa? Yep, that's it. Uh -huh. Yes. It's okay, this is uh, only the second worst recap we've ever had. Well, it was the worst, actually. The one where Mark sat there and went, uh, oh, for 15 yeah. minutes. The fact that Rick doesn't remember last session probably means he's not going to remember that recap. In that's, fairness. Yeah, that's fair. I remember it. I mean... I remember why don't you remember last session? Little, I just need a little refresher. Because he doesn't remember yeah, anything and nothing uh, happened. You're the one supposed to be giving us a refresher! <laughs> I feel cheated. Um, with the town we were in, very fun. Uh, fault. The Elder God... Uh, Lost God. The Elder God? God damn it, Rick. <laughs> no, I like God to <laughs> that. This, uh, this game has become generic anime, hasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, and there was black stuff there, like the town was nearly fully gone. Um, Vom couldn't buy his weed, so he was very upset. What? Pando. Uh, Pando, yes. No, I could buy my weed, fine. <laughs> uh, I mean, um, you live in generic British and town. And Matthias. God, man. Oh yeah, yeah, I lost all my fucking gold because fuck you, Jorgen, god damn it. No, you didn't lose any gold. I lost all the holes back. Why? <laughs> yeah, so I'm basically fucking wasted a fucking wish. Thanks, Jorgen. Well, you Welcome. Didn't... No, that is your... You decided to give the money back, my dude. Didn't have to do that. Didn't have to. I, I yeah, didn't she have didn't even. Choice. I got, like. She didn't they know told you had me. it. They told her I had the money. No, they didn't. No, it they was didn't. you who said it <laughs> yeah, immediately. Yeah, my is certainly did. Mm. No. Mm. You're like a guy that you have to give it back or tell or something. Also, Not Shakes is like the one more powerful being that's actually friends with us, so let's keep it that way. Yeah, but she didn't know I had to fucking go. Yes. Okay, but more should powerful. She I agree. Have... <laughs> she have found out that would have been memes. Close and see I mean, how was I supposed to notice her call? I didn't know until you started asking for it. I'm, I, anyway, <laughs> actually, I blame you, Gaff. That's fine. I think this was a wiser decision. Mm -hmm. um, that happened, and then Matthias and Akane were on their way to where her parents' house used to be. Mm -hmm. If if there's even something there, could be that there's a new house or whatever. And yes. I think that's it. The, uh, what? Oh, yeah, Marley and there. That was amazing. We That still needed right? to happen. Yeah, Marley and Sarif yeah, that, have been drinking in a bar at midday and had no, yes. having an, a very impressive and very close arm wrestle. Uh, which yeah. I, I believe yes. Sarif was... ultimately won, but it was very close. Wait, did they arm wrestle? Was pro. Oh my god, right? Oh, you were asleep <sighs> during the most intense arm wrestle of the season. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, we've had two arm we wrestles this game, and that one no, was more intense I than think... the one with an ancient white dragon. Was it? Yeah. That's pretty. 
That's pretty cool. Yeah, you don't remember. I forgot about that actually. Yeah, yeah. I, I knew the one you wrestled the dragon. That's right. Yeah. Thing on yeah, that was really, that was like not a tight. Was... You fucking destroyed her. Molly, oh, like a lot a plus... better. A plus way too she much. Had... I just used she the stats like plus off. Plus ten compared to my plus six at the time, or something like that. Yeah, some, something like that. I don't know the exact stats, but I just used it straight off the. Uh, she the really sheet. badly. Yeah, she I did. really will. It was fucking amazing. But uh. I could forget that. Yeah. Uh, and then um, there was two people, Pandle and Cockhammer, also went to the uh, to the ma the the university's magic shop. Oh yeah. Did some uh, sad things. And Matthias tried to go in there and realised that he now really just couldn't possibly betray uh, the love of his life like that. And he <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, may or may not be able to enter magic shops with the intent to buy. So, Matthias and Akane. Short yes. and shorter. You two are making your way... Um, through... The mid-platforms. Yes, through the mid-platforms, towards um, where uh, Akane's old house was uh, 16 plus years ago. You eventually uh, follow the directions you were given by, uh, I believe it was the uh, tavern owner who gave you directions there. Mm, yes. And uh, eventually you make it to one of the larger plots of land, um, being that the city is comprised of three large floating islands, their land is a bit of a precious resource, and so even the largest houses here are mostly vertical, don't have much in the way of gardens or anything, but the houses that do are definitely uh, more expensive. And you come across a small... Uh, well, not small, but a, a house that is three or four stories tall. It has... Um, well, it's four stories tall. It has a... A uh, small plot of land around it, small garden uh, at the front, and what appears to be a small garden at the back as well, marking it to be a significant sized house uh, for this area. These are uh, where the directions led led you to. It's uh, there are people living in there, I assume, right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, it, it would appear to be lived in, at least. Not this burned out or anything. <laughs> this, <laughs> no. does, this doesn't look like your place, does it? No. Mm. Can we look for yeah. a burial site or something? Burial site? Would you have yeah, any Yeah, maybe they have there? a grave or something. <laughs> Where's the nearest chapel? I don't know. There's not um, going to be one. Any... Hmm? There's not going to be one, Gav. Yeah. Based on the oh, fact religion's not a thing you know yeah. exists. Did we see anything... By the way, graveyards are probably a thing, right, I imagine? Oh, uh, yeah. We need a place to remember the love of us. Did we see anything like that um, No. when we were going to the town? You've not seen anything like that, nor any indication of where one might be. Are there some passerbyers here? Yeah, there's uh, a few people. There's not very many walking around. And do they bury people here, or do they cremate them? I don't know. Hmm. Right. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> it's a very fitting thing to say for someone whose house burned down. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, fucking hell, yeah. Um, yeah, Unintentionally I wanna, um, cremated is the phrase. Yeah. I, I wanna, like, um, ask a passerbyer, like, yeah? someone. Okay, yeah, you stop, uh, like, an old woman and who's walking past. Like, uh, an Avril. Avril, uh, someone. Hello, miss. Um, is there a uh, burial site here somewhere? Uh, how can I help you? A burial it's... site? Um, uh, you must be new to the city. I'm afraid not here. She sort of gestures towards the nearby mountains. But there are some uh, on the mainland. Is that where um, the city normally commemorates the dead? Well, or we... is there... There's no, no space, space for them all. here. It's a bit... Uh, Crowded. Hmm. Uh, okay. How far was the spot away that she, like, pointed at? Uh, she's sort of gesturing vaguely in the direction of mountains. Uh. Are noble families? Would you know where exactly? Um, 
Yes, if you were to head down onto the mountains where the chains attach at the base, then uh, there should be some path you could follow to find them there. Okay. How long would Thank it be traveled through, through air, roughly? Well, that depends how fast you fly, my dear. Um, Not very. <laughs> I look at the Connie. I mean, polymorph. Well, fair enough. Then it will probably take you some time. Ah. Uh, hmm. Okay. I'm more than happy to go and um, go there. Yeah, maybe should tell the rest first. Okay, well, uh, thanks we for your help. we agree to meet up again? Well, goodbye. She wanders off. Have a good day. When did I we agree to meet up again? I don't know. Surely we've I've got time. I kind of want to um, try and visit my parents' grave and maybe find out if we have, like, a family crest or something. Something of the sort. <laughs> Sure, we'll, do, we'll go tell him first, then we'll head off. Yeah. Uh, well, to the tavern then. Okay. Okay. So you two head on over to uh, tavern. You arrive to find uh, Sarif and Mali uh, becoming friends. I yeah. suppose. Just having a few drinks. Yeah. Yeah, just just drinking away. I was telling him all about my treasure. I think. Yes, I think so. The things you collect, yeah. Mm. Yeah. You uh, you you arrive to find Marley describing a, a collection of of interesting things that she has acquired over her travels, and Sarif seems potentially. Sarif <laughs> seems interested but very confused. Yes. Dumpsy, are you adjusting your microphone? <laughs> I just no. do. No. Yeah, there's a sort hey. of scratching sound from a microphone. Don't know whose yeah, it is. Right. I'm not at my computer. Uh, it's Dumpsy. Ah. Well. At least I saw him up on it when I heard it. Either way, it's not that bad. Can so. you still hear it? Or? Nope. No, it's good sure, gone. Okay. Cool. Don't know it's why. good. So, um, Cog Camera Pandal, are you two going to meet up at the tavern after you've done your thing? I should say. Yeah. Okay, cool. I'll tell you when you get there then. Uh, so yeah, the, the four of you arrive at the tavern. Or the um, two of you arrive at the tavern. Hi guys! Okay, Hello. I just want to let Hello. like have to do bartender first. Uh, it's the same bartender. Oh. Uh, but this is a different, a different this tavern. This is a different tavern. This is on the oh. second level. Wait, we're in a remember? different tavern? Yeah, yeah this, this is, is the second level. Oh, oh we're in a tavern on the second level. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> you all moved there, remember? It's not like that. <laughs> no, I don't remember. Oh, damn it, Rick. I have met goldfish with better memories than you. <laughs> it's impressive. <sighs> You're calling Rick an idiot, entirely ruined by the fact you're trying to talk to Goldfish. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say I wasn't. <laughs> okay, that's uh, just as long as you're aware of that box, it's fine. <laughs> Why are you bully? So, did you find anything? No. Um, no. <clears throat> no. We do plan to um, visit one of the burial grounds. But um, apparently those are back on the mountains. So we're going to go flying. Yeah. It shouldn't take too long. We'll be back for the evening. What is it you're looking for? Uh, well, a burial grave. place. We're going to a graveyard. We're looking for a grave, right? Yeah. The grave of Henry here? Mm hmm. Ah, you're gonna <laughs> find him there? Hopefully. And then what? Alright then. Pay respects. Then we know something before we get out of here? I thought you already knew they were dead. 
Just face palm. Right. Anyway, we'll be back before sundown. Normally. Hey, if is there not... anything else you want you want us to look for? Um, is there anything you want to get from the city? I guess now's the time. If you can find out anything about my family in the meantime. What's your last name? I message it to her. Like I just message her um, with the message country. Uh, Mas um, Masai Yuki Aka the little Masai Yuki Aki's Yuki Aiko Saki Raiko. That's yes, a that's lot it. of words. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. It's a Yagron name. Yeah, he he literally made it like. You are literally a noble. You're gonna have long names. That's how that goes. <laughs> that's very Japanese. Yeah. That's uh, very intentional. You could just spend the right. uh, Kitsune name generator. Nope. Oh, that's what I would have done. That's why, uh. That's why it's better than this. why he didn't do that. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. Did she just say that out loud? No, I meant to do her. Okay. Okay. Okay, uh. Okay, let's head out then. I can turn myself into a giant eagle. Or you, sure if you put No, mm. Actually, Polymorph should help. Do you want to become a giant eagle again, Matthias? Honestly, I'm a better giant eagle than I am a flyer like this, sure. But let's do okay. that outside. Aww, it would have been fun inside. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I head outside again. Okay, and yeah. I'm following. And outside, if there's enough room, I turn him into a giant fucking eagle. Mm -hmm. Great. Uh, as you two head outside, you do meet uh, Pandal and Cockhammer just arriving at this point. Oh, hey, friends. Oh, I thought they were already here. No. no. Hi, Pandal. Hello. We took a bit longer, so. But, yeah. <laughs> you two are walking out of a pub awfully quickly. What's happening? Uh, we're going to go for a, um, a bit of a walk before meeting you guys back here in the evening. Okay, same thing good. around this city, really. Yeah, it's got a point. Yeah. Like a nice park, or a little a fun time cafe, maybe. What's what's happening? Very old ground. A giant eagle understands common in Arum, but can't speak. Mm -hmm. Oh, am I, am yeah. I thrilled already? Oh, yeah. Just, no, no, not discussed yet. <laughs> okay. Oh, did you? Just... Oh, Three times last session, my dude. <laughs> Your ability to forget things is impressive. Look, early onset Alzheimer's is no joke. <laughs> yes, early onset Alzheimer's is no joke. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> 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 okay. <laughs> okay, well, I guess have fun looking for dead people. Have fun. Trying to bring back dead people? I've been having a great time actually. I got this bag. Look, I want to like get a, a cup of snow out of the bag and like hold it up to Matthias. Look at this. Yep. Snow in a bag. Isn't Looks that great? great? I want to sort of be really disappointed when he doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> See you tonight. Uh, sure, sure, okay. Don't make my snow in a bag. And I turn him into a giant eagle. Yeah, my fire's ah! cool, cool. Can I throw a snowball at the giant eagle? <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and make a, a dex check. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. That's a 16. That hits. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Splash across the side of the giant eagle. It's cold. Ha! <laughs> 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 I'm gonna go inside the, the snow bag to get some snow. Oh yeah, I'm gonna hold out for cook hammer. Okay. I'm gonna look, put it in my right arm to start spinning my <laughs> like, Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, it sort of just flies out everywhere. Damn shit. Yeah, it like seeps yeah, through your fingers powdery. and like just- I'm gonna make- try and make a ball first. <laughs> okay. I, uh, yeah. I uh, climb on top of the eagle. Yeah, you- you climb on the eagle. Uh, cook hammer, yeah, you sort of like, uh, pack it up into a ball and this, so it doesn't like fall out this time and- Begins, uh, you begin spinning it around. Does he pack it that tight that it's basically an ice ball? I'm gonna try and let it mm -hmm. go at the, like, right moment. 
to make it hit one of them. Okay, make me a dex check. Oh. Um, I believe that hits a giant eagle. So yeah, you you, uh, you throw this ball of packed uh, snow and ice, and it like splashes across the yeah. eagle. Uh, this time, significantly yeah, okay. harder than the Good previous one. We have um, got the uh, telekinesis. No, because you didn't. Like, stop the it eagle midair. Tries oh. to give you a death stare, but it doesn't really work because half elf does not compute eagle face muscles. <laughs> <laughs> You're like giving us a death stare with one you eye mean, and the other. You mean uh, no? There again. Oh, Half gnome. Half gnome. Pet eagle Matthias. Half gnelf. Oh my god. It's a gnelf. It's a gnome. Oh my god, it is a gnelf as well because it's gnome with gnelf. Oh my god. It's a gnelf. That's amazing, Tom. Yeah. Anyway. So yeah, you uh, you hop onto the onto giant eagle and take off, I assume. Mm -hmm. Okay, and you're just heading off roughly in the direction the old woman gestured yeah. and down the chains. All right, yeah, you follow them down. It will take uh, a little while, like half an hour or so, to uh, basically find where there might be a graveyard. It, it's not that difficult, and um, I mean it's a city. There. It, it's there's a number of graveyards uh, that are, like clustered together that are seem to have sort of merged into one. Um, mm -hmm. uh, it's quite big, obviously, and there's a number of like mausoleums and stuff like near the back, uh, not near the back, near the center, and um, yeah, you, you can spot it from the air quite easily. So you, you make your way down there. Okay. Um, before I full on descend. Does this look like a very regular cemetery, you know, one grave next to the other, or is there like proper, um, what do you call them? Tombs. What do you call them, the little houses on a graveyard? Mausoleums. 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 As, yes. as I said, there are a bunch of mausoleums at the centre, ah, okay. uh, and otherwise it seems to be a sort of um, circular pattern divided in uh, into three. Uh, like, it's circular in shape, it's divided into three, it's otherwise segmented, and like, um, rows, like curving rows round. There's an increasing number of columns per row. Okay. Um, Is there yeah. any proper landing space? Not That's really. Like obviously, it lands on top of the mausoleums. Okay. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not landing on top of the mausoleums. I will, however, go for the biggest piece of path yeah. and make my landing there. Okay. Um. Yeah. It, it's big enough. You could land there, or you could just land just so outside the cemetery if you want. No, I'll I'll land inside the cemetery, but like just outside the mausoleums. Okay. So right at the center. Well. Sure. Yes. Yeah, okay, you, uh, you land. Is there anyone around? Uh, there doesn't appear to be at this moment. I dispel the giant eagle. Okay. You return... I first get off, of course. You return to Gnelf better. form. <laughs> <laughs> to your Gnelvish you know, form. Remind <laughs> me to, um... <laughs> remind me to pick Pandal next time I'm an eagle. Okay. Rub the Gnelf. Um, yeah, and I guess I start looking for um, first towards the mausoleums, I guess, towards the m more richer looking ones uh, for. Okay. Well, the grave of our parents or like a family thing. There do not appear to be many mausoleums. Ah. Um, it's probably not a mausoleum. There are about 30 of them. Um, so you can. Okay. Search through them quite quickly. None of them have your. They've all got big fancy names on. None of them have Riker Peters on them. Then I want to start like searching on gravestones from like the inside towards the outside in a circling pattern. Okay. Um, that's going to take a very long time because there are <laughs> thousands of graves here. Uh -huh. hmm. Yeah, but it's a graveyard for a city. There are thousands, yeah. if not tens of thousands of graves here. This. Um, the ones on the inside. <laughs> As she starts doing that, yeah. Connie, wouldn't there be a um, some it's something a book a um a wall on the entryway with a layout where uh, with the names of the people buried here? I don't know. Would there? Would there? <laughs> you haven't checked. You don't know. I think it's a good place to start. Okay. Uh, is is there an obvious? 
entrance? Uh, there are three entrances. Okay, uh, I want to walk up to one three. of the entrances. Okay, All yeah. three essentially main entrances? Yeah, it seems to be, yeah. Shit. Uh, yeah, you head up to one of the entrances. Um, and there is... Uh, yeah, there would be inscribed a, um, a stone tablet that basically states that the three um, like sections of the cemetery are for people who lived in the three different um, levels of the ah. city. And that the newest uh, are on the inside. Uh, no, not the newest. The oldest graves are on the outs uh, on the inside, and the newest ones are on the outside. That guy's the one I go to the one for the middle level. Yeah, you. That's the one like on your right. So you just sort of turn to there. Can I deduce which grave roughly would be like twenty years old? Uh, you can go through no, and just... 20, um... 16. 16. Yeah, you, you can go through and just, like, look at dates on graves, um, quite easily. Uh, it's not that difficult. Um, do you but go Thias, through... he's following along, he's reading the graves, but he's clearly, um, somewhere caught up in his own thoughts. You go through and you eventually come to a, a section of it that were about 15 years old. Um, yeah, they look... About 15 years old, you know. Relatively new for gravestones, but also not in pristine condition. Yeah. Then I want to start looking for the one of her parents, if there's one. Okay, go ahead and make an investigation check. I will do the same. Yes, you may get it. Sure. Um... Eh. 13. 18. He rolled an 8 and still fucking wow. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it's almost like he's an intelligence-based character. You um, wouldn't, you you wouldn't, uh, roll, though. You wouldn't say that. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> Matthias, yeah, you eventually uh, come across a grave with the Ensign Riker Peters. You didn't see... You, you don't... Uh, I don't know if you remember Akane's entire full name. Uh, I assume not the whole thing, but it looks familiar. And as you look along them, you see a number of Raiko Peter's graves all lined up next to each other. One of which is for Akane. Yeah, as we pass that, I'm gonna just gonna oh, tap her on. The, I'm just gonna tap her on the shoulder and like nod over to the grave. Yeah. Oh. Uh, oh god, that's disturbing. You find five graves next to each other: Akane, Masse, Yuki, Aiko, Saki, Raiko Peters. Keno, Kayo, Mai, Arisu, Minore, Raiko, Peters. Right, Yorgon, I'm gonna be the arse here and request you send me those names in full. Yeah, can I have those in writing, please? <laughs> okay. Akane? Yeah, yeah, I knew that one. I would hope so. Are you sure? Are you sure you didn't forget it? <laughs> no, this is like the one thing he's memorized. Your sister? <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> Kaneo? Mm -hmm. um, Kano, I suppose. Kukudo, Deaki, uh, Yoshiro, Suara, Oh yeah, I had that one written down, indeed. That's your grandfather. You have... That's, so that's the culprit. You have your father, uh, Takoto, and your mother, Maiko. Yeah, okay. Um... I do wonder what what would be in my grave then. I don't know if I do. Hmm. An empty uh, by the way, are there any like family? Is there a family crest on a grave or something? Uh, that does not appear to be a crest on any of the graves. Hmm. Other than stating your names and the dates you died, um, there would be one notable thing, which is on your grandfather's grave. There is painted a blue arrow pointing down on the back side at the corner, and a red feather next to it. Like the arrow next to a the blue arrow. Yes, huh. like the one you saw. Uh, the, the red feather. What is it? The real feather or painted? Painted. They're, they're not immediately right. noticeable, but you do see them. We saw this in the alleyway. 
Does it mean anything? Uh, probably. Um, I don't know what a red feather is, but I saw the blue arrow before. It's not suggesting we think, is it? Don't know. Uh, there's no one around here, is there? Doesn't appear to be. I, like, want to look around and see if there's anyone here and, like, at the arrow, like, dig a little bit, see if I can find something. Hang on, hang on, uh, hang, hang on. Okay. So before you do anything stupid, is there no way... Well, that's the first time look, we broke into a grave. look down <laughs> using magic <laughs> or anything. I, I don't know. You are the one well, who knows that stuff. You know what spells you can cause better than I do. Oh, but I oh, it's a spell that can help. I misunderstood. Uh, I don't think I have any. No. Tom, should be yes. nice. Mulder. <laughs> ah, there we go. I'm sorry, I could have it so much. I want to start using Mulder. It'll speed things up. And what precisely does Mulder do? What's the description on that? It's just move five, uh, like five feet of earth, right? Yeah, five uh, feet of lost. Why up. is that? Why does Moldef do lightning damage? I was going to say, hang on a minute, are you an offender? No! It's not fucking light. Oh my god. Wreck. Everything is lightning damage. It's a carne. Or a special kind of special, my dude. <laughs> we love oh, you very much. Look at him. We love you very much, Rick, but dear god, can you be special at times? Hey, take. hey, it's you my special. Hey, be nice. <laughs> so. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. Okay, you have just copied. Good, I'm glad that happened. Uh, yeah, what so. Is... Oh, I'm not going to crush it anymore. <laughs> I don't know. I There's don't know. No Why can't you just click on the spell? Oh, Jesus. Use the spell card, right? I did it's not that hard. So, yeah, for... guys. Be nice to Rick. Rick. So, for one hour, you can move up to five feet of, uh, like, cubic loose earth, essentially. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, there. you begin moving earth aside. Um, you dig down, and you find a coffin. It's about six feet down, as you would On expect. On the back side of the grave? Well, uh, the, it would sort of cave through into the, uh, as you dig down about six feet, it eventually will sort of cave through. Ah. Um, and, you, and you see the coffin, but you don't find anything else as you begin digging down, you dig around on the backside. Mm, I don't think I should open a coffin. Who's <laughs> I... great for you digging up? <laughs> My grandpa. Oh. <laughs> She's a good family person. Don't look, Matthias is going to open the coffin. The coffin's I still look away. covered. Matthias ain't much better. <laughs> okay, so you can't open the coffin. A, it's no. six feet down. Um, B, it is currently, you know, under six feet of earth. You're just seeing the end of the coffin because the she dug down at the, uh, the back side of the grave. I'll it's... do it. You'll, you'll do what? I'll open the coffin if you clear it up. Oh, right, sorry. I thought you were telling sure me that. You sure we do that? I don't know if it's a good idea. I don't want to disturb his grave. It's not, I don't want you to do it either. Fucking leaf, not that, innit? Hey, I didn't open it yet, fuck you. Um... <laughs> what qualifies as disturbing someone's grave is the question. There's an arrow pointing down. Clearly, someone wanted me to dig. <laughs> <laughs> dig deeper into it. <laughs> Realizes that some of the decisions I've made have led to hilarious oh, side consequences geez. and laughs. <laughs> okay, I guess I'll start clearing up the rest. Clearing up the in uh, what digging way? Out the rest. You're gonna dig that just your grandfather's coffin out or the rest? Just that, just that one. Okay, so yeah, you move the earth over, uh, sort of fill the hole back in. Clear a hole over your grandfather's coffin. Yeah. And I look away. <laughs> why? I'm, why this one? I'm terribly sorry for this. Just narrow down. And I'll I'll go to open it up. Okay. Yeah. You uh, sort of hop down, 
next to it. You open it up. Both of you immediately can smell smell it. Because here's the thing. Graves, fucking do not smell good. <laughs> no shit. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't an expensive well, it coffin. depends on how old they are. Yeah. 16 fair. years. Oh, 16 years, yeah. It's... Like, at some point, it doesn't smell bad anymore. And this yeah. one didn't die in the fire. I mean, longer than 16 years. Uh, <laughs> it might take. It de also depends on the coffin. Uh, if it's yeah, lead-lined or not, and what, whatever. Uh, it's not an lead-lined coffin. You, you would have encountered those, because they explode. Um, lead-lined coffins explode when you, if, when you unearth them. Why? They do? Yes, they do, because yeah. the, the build-up of pressure, and it's only held down by six foot earth. So the second you move that, the coffin explodes. That's cool. No, it's not. <laughs> it's kind of gross. Yeah, it is. Booby trap. <laughs> okay. Uh, fuck, fuck future archaeologists. <laughs> that is cool. <laughs> You ain't get my pups. You're not Indiana Jones. Get fucked. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's fucking. Was it my granddad had a story where um, he had to do something that involved uh, moving cof uh, coffins on a military base because they were moving the entire base or something like that. Oh god. And they opened up a uh, one of these graves and the fucking thing exploded. <laughs> and Life just... and <laughs> Yeah, and there's just like you just uh, mentioned seeing just this eyeball just stuck to a headstone. Mm. Oh. Yeah. yeah, it's oh, very nasty. <laughs> They're gruesome. You, you don't want lead line. Uh, this it's, luckily it's like not lead line. <laughs> yeah, kind of actually. Uh, but this is this is luckily not a uh, a lead line coffin. This is just a uh, just a little regular wooden coffin. But yeah, you you sort of managed to crack the lid open, Matthias. There's a, a decomposed. Well, it's just a skeleton at this point in there. It smells pretty bad. There's a few bits of flesh here and there, but it's almost completely gone. There's a skeleton inside. Well, good thing there's no gods in this universe. <laughs> I'm going to grave robbing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm basically going to look for anything in there that might be of any significance. Or of any worth. Anything that's not really supposed to be in um, a... A coffin. First of all, I'm pretty certain this entire campaign's about gods. Second of all, there appears to be nothing more than a skeleton wearing, like, the loose rags that are the remnants of uh, clothes that have essentially, uh, like, a funeral gown that's been just dissolved by, um, well, the bacteria and your own bodily fluids when you decompose. Mm -hmm. Nothing else. I'll close it up. I'll we'll get out. Right back up. I'm terribly sorry for that. Uh, it's fine, I think. I wasn't, didn't see anything in there. Oh, um, because it would be obvious. Yeah, it's a kitson there. Yeah, it's a winged kitson. Uh, fucking. Of course. Tory kitson. Um, skeleton. I'm just, uh... See, I'm covering it back up, and... I'm gonna get back to the front of the grave. Okay. Wonder what the arrow and the... The feather for... Hold on, I should probably note this down. Where did the arrow at the tavern point? Uh, down. Right? Mm-hmm. Any other symbols? Uh, not that I know of. Could be just a traitor mark in the city's eyes. I don't know. It doesn't make sense. I think. I don't know. Why would it be in the tavern then? Maybe they know more than we think? Maybe you should ask the um, tavern keep, the um, bartender. Let me see him again. Uh, nah, I don't think we sh I should try and dig up my own grave. Probably wouldn't be anything there. Why not? What could possibly be wrong with doing that? <laughs> it could be something there, it could be empty grave or like oh. other bodies, I don't know. This is an opportunity for you to take a nap in your own grave, my dude. Oh, oh my, my god. god. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. 
Castle. I do feel like I've um, done enough horrible things for one day. Yeah, same. Do you want to take a moment? Yeah. Should just sit down in front of like her parents' graves for a minute okay. or so. Yeah. Yeah, Matthias is gonna stand there as well. Although after the minute, he's I'm um, gonna start walking towards the entrance. Sure. Yeah. So you head to the entrance as uh, Akane takes a few minutes of silence and then. So there's there's nothing else that's um, standing out or not no other little details. I mean. Nothing that you can immediately see. Something that I cannot immediately see? <laughs> well, I mean, if you look for it and you find it, maybe. Perception, investigation. Uh, not, not, not something you find with a check that you've already made. Hmm. Okay. I guess I s after a while I'll start also heading back to where Matthias is. But also looking out for red feathers, blue arrows, stuff like that. Okay. Roll a perception check. Hey. Alright. Um, mm -hmm. Every now and then, there is um, a couple of graves where you see either one or both of the two symbols you saw before on them. Pretty rare, but they are there. Is it, like, crudely drawn on, like, just freehand? Um, yeah. Uh, whose graves are I on? You don't recognize any of them. Like, some had both? Some had one? Yeah. Is that? Okay. Some are both, some have the others. Both is extremely rare. Uh, in fact, no, you would only see one other with both. Um, but you would see a couple with one or the other. Okay. Yeah, I uh, head back to Matthias. Mm -hmm. Again, Nakani, I'm terribly sorry. Mm, it's okay. I, let's head back. Before we go... Yeah? I know this is important to you. I... I want to get to the bottom of this. Yeah, me Let too. it never be said that I'm not willing to do anything for my students. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for that. <laughs> this is something that Lisa doesn't know about, is it? Yeah. But, uh... No, but I made a horrible sex joke in my head, so, you know. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Trying to do a serious moment here. Don't be so innuendo innuendoable, man. Innuendoable. Uh, I apologize, Matthias, but she's not your student anymore. Oh, you're gonna have to convince Matthias of that one. Now she has become the master, and you have become. <laughs> <laughs> you joke, but that's exactly she's what's happened. She's not your happened. student anymore. It's okay now. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm afraid. For fuck's sake. Anyway, we um, we do have to do the these other things first. Yeah, you know, world ending and all that. But after that, we'll come back here, and we'll get to the bottom of this. You can get to the bottom of it, try. Yeah, you can, or you already got. It's only six there. feet down. Ah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Just dig. Uh, it won't take longer than a minute. Do you want to go and meet the bartender first? Yeah. Let's ask him what those arrows are. Yeah. Right. Well, if you make me an eagle, we'll go right there. Yeah, I'll poof him into an eagle again. Matthias, you are suddenly an eagle. Ah! <laughs> Yes. I'm just gonna look at that Connie and sit down. Yeah, oh. I'll uh, climb on, on the side. If only it was a giant eagle. 
<laughs> yeah. Uh, giant eagle, of course. Fuck you, god damn it. I can't even get suffering on the tiny eagle. Oh. Tiny eagle is smart, but he does. <laughs> <laughs> Some people are into that, okay? Oh my god. Right, let's go visit that map. Smothering, smothering and killing eagles? <laughs> yeah. You know people who are into that? Rick, oh, here, god right. damn it, Rick. What are you, who are you talking to? God damn it, Rick. You guys are a roleplay server. <laughs> yeah. That's true. I was talking to you guys. There's a good <laughs> chance. <laughs> anyway. So. You two, uh, yeah, you make your way back up to the first level of Yosa, and, uh, up to, uh, fucking, uh, checks notes, whatever the bar's name was called, that you, uh, you went to before. Oh, good question mark. Uh, yeah, the partially Uh, the wing tankard, yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I had his sight. Is the same bartender still there? Yeah, same guy. How busy is the place right now? Doesn't appear to be particularly busy. Um, it's sort of mid, mid morning to midday. Yeah, it'd be approaching midday at this point, but uh, it's yeah, it's not <laughs> not really that busy. I, I add up to him. Um, okay. Hello again. Uh, oh, yo. I was wondering. Uh, uh, I had a problem with my room, if you know what I mean. Can you? Can we settle that? He sort of looks at you, looks at the uh, Ganelf behind you, and... Uh, oh, right, yeah, uh, sure. Come with me. And he goes upstairs. So yeah, I'll paddle his hair, stand on end. I have a problem with my room, if you know what I mean. Yeah, that's yeah. a room service to fix the problem with my room that I've had. Mm. Nudge, as, nudge. As we're going up, I'm going to shoot the Ghanaian message. That was actually a smart move. Thank you! <laughs> uh, yeah. So, you make your way upstairs and he leads you into one of the rooms, closes the door behind you, locks it. Right. Um, uh, yeah, I've, I've been to the graveyard today. Um, I was wondering, I've seen some symbols around town. Uh, what does a blue arrow mean and a red feather? Uh, New arrow pointing down. Yeah. Yeah. So. Right. Long story short, the uh, the city's not been doing too great recently. Your in the last fifty years, from what I've heard, what I've seen. No. Oh. The city has a bit of a criminal underbelly that runs riot these days. They don't tend to hide themselves very much. I've seen the blue arrow in the tavern, and on my grandpa's grave was a blue oh, arrow and a red feather. It wasn't on the tavern, it was I in the building know. next to the tavern. Oh, in the, in the building next to the tavern? Yeah. Yeah. The blue arrow is a symbol of a group what call themselves down, Downside. And the red feather is, well, the red feather. They're both relatively major criminal gangs. Why would both symbols be on, like, one or two graves? Including my grandpa's. He sort of shrugs. Your guess is as good as mine. All I do is... try and stay out of their way. Hmm. Thanks for your advice. How can I get in touch with one of these? Not now. He sort of looks at you and goes... As I said, um, don't. <laughs> okay, but figuratively speaking, if I want, if I would want to. <laughs> Do I look like a criminal to you? No. Then why would I know? Well, you're a bartender, you hear people talking. I'm you... a bartender, not a criminal. <laughs> it's the same I can't thing. Name. <laughs> I can't name. No. Yeah. That's something we'll figure out when we come back. Uh, we still have like a day, I can try and figure out some a little more information. It's not worth getting in trouble here now to then just disappear again. That's it. 
please. <laughs> no, I can't. Eh? By the way, uh, how did he say the blue arrow was called? It, uh, down... Downside. Downside. Mm -hmm. And then just a red feather. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, um, sure. Uh, that's it, I guess. Oh yeah, by the way, I was wondering... Did my family have like something like a family crest or something? Or like a symbol or Yeah. Did. But uh it's not yours anymore. How do you mean? Your father your father's father, I should say. Owned the uh seventh seat on the council. That was your family crest. Oh. It, um, that seed has its own symbol? It does. When your family was dishonored, as it was, that crest, that kind of privileges, was taken away from them. What is this crest? Well, it's the crest of the seventh seat. He, uh... So it takes out a, uh... No, actually, he wouldn't... Yeah, no. You just describe it. Um... They call themselves a Council of Wings. You know of them, I assume. Well, exactly. Yeah. Council crest. But, uh... Well, it's got, you know... All twelve stars around it. Seven falling along is missing. Okay. Okay. So pretty simple. Yeah. Same as all the others, just depends on the placement of the star that it's missing. Okay. Thank you very much again. Yeah, thanks. We, um... We'll be back. We have things to do around the world right now, but of course. Yeah. we wouldn't be asking this if you we weren't going to get involved uh, sooner or later. Don't get me involved. We won't. But should we arrive in the city again, you can assume we're here to cause trouble. Then don't come back here. Not before it's uh, Not to cause trouble, but at least to figure out what happened. Much the same. And he, like, unlocks the door. Goes head downstairs. Yeah. Stop. Best of luck. And you. Hopefully we'll meet again someday. No, uh, Bye. Thank you. Just sort of nods. Once we're outside... Mm -hmm. Um... Eagle time? Ah, uh, hold on, I just want to take another look. I want to take a look around the building that has the blue arrow on it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it seems to be a house. You can find the uh, the blue arrow pretty quickly. It's uh, uh, just on the corner of the house, at the alleyway, where you saw it before. Are there... I just want to have a look around a bit. Are there any houses with red feathers, more blue arrows, bow symbols? Go ahead and make an investigation check. Mm, fuck. Not that you notice anywhere. Uh, Matthias, do you see any, like, uh, the same symbol that we found? Like, both of them. Oh, sorry, I wasn't really paying attention to that. If you want me to look, I can. Yeah, can you? Well, let's try hey! Hey! <laughs> You don't see any. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> any more buildings um, with red feathers or um, <clears throat> blue arrows that I would see, though? Don't see any when 
He rolls over double what you roll. Same check. I mean, I was asking of both symbols at one building, but... Like, well, yeah. you don't see any, uh, any okay. more of those symbols. I kind of want to knock on the door and ask something. Right. Don't. We're only going to cause problems if we do that now. Sure, we can't. I guess only question. No, we can't. Can't avoid that. Again, hmm. next time we come around here, we're gonna have a lot of fun. Has it been ages? Well, I don't think we have ages, to be honest. So, we might be back sooner than you uh, anticipate. Hmm. Um, num, 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 bounty bars. <laughs> <laughs> That's one way to lighten the mood. <laughs> uh, fuck's sake. It was code for bounty board. He wants us to go do bounties <laughs> instead of the main plot, guys. I figured it out. <laughs> yeah, <Code>. of course. <laughs> and he says they're on Mars. Yes. <laughs> Remember when I said I wanted this game to end early? Ignore the main plot. Do it! Teleport us <laughs> to the moon, it'll be great! Not again. Why do you want this game to end early? It was a joke, Rick. Oh, oh god. The so correct Cerise. response was you. <laughs> oh, yeah. This bag has my teeth in it. Put a bag on the table with 47 teeth. human teeth in it. Uh, are those your teeth? Well, they're not my teeth, but they're teeth from a friend that I helped once, and he said I could keep them, so I put them in my bag. What? Now they're one of my treasures. Keep you his teeth. Yeah. We're good friends. Oh. And this is a vial with nail clippings in it. I got that from, from another oh. one of my friends. Don't worry about it. This is a multicolored bright golden disc. It's, but it's multicolored, it's not golden. Hmm. Is it golden or is it multicolored? Sort of start looking at my disc, like, wondering is what it, it is. Is it golden painted? Hmm. Maybe it's made of gold and then dyed in multiple colors? But anyway. I got this one from a mage. It's really pretty. What, the disc? Yeah. Uh, okay. Cool. Just any minute now, you guys are gonna walk into the bar. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. no, I'm just gonna sit here and wait. I've got an axe. Alright, okay. I did want to say, no, um... uh, the question is, what is everyone else doing in the sort of two hours, two to three hours these guys are away? It's gonna take them a while to do get everything. Get the bar at some point. Well, oh, yeah, you get to the bar done yet. as they leave. So what's everyone oh, else okay. doing during that time? And this uh... one's a glass orb. It's filled with moving smoke. It's kind of weird. Look at it. See, it's moving. Smoke does that. Yeah, look very closely at it. It does appear to be moving. What the hell? Why, why is it? Why does it move? I don't know, but it's so mysterious, isn't it? Should we kill it? No, no. <laughs> it's in my collection. Gotta keep oh, it forever. Okay. You have a very strange collection. Well, it's all just stuff that I got from people when I did jobs for them, you know. Oh, okay. I've got an axe and a bit leaf bender. On the, on the yeah. table. <laughs> That's a really cool axe. It's, it's a big, big ass axe. It's uh, a big axe, and as you um, like put it on the table, uh, these two like eyes that appear to be sort of drawn in this kind of runic pattern open up on the uh, one on either side of the, the double axe head on top. On the top, like look up at you. Hi. Not so, very talkative. It's sort of like. Where's Nods its Does eyes. Does it say anything in my head? Or... Uh, no. Does it try to speak to us? No. I'm just gonna say, Victor, you can say hi. Oh, well, greetings, friend. <laughs> can I hear that? Nope. Sharif can. <laughs> there we go. Just nod. Hi. Can I help you? May I take your order, please? <laughs> um. 
So, <laughs> your ex friend. Yeah. Can you hear him in your head? Yeah. Is that weird? That's a little weird. Of course it's not weird, uh, friend. We're best friends, after all. Yeah, we're best friends. I'm sorry, what? That's... Hmm. <laughs> this is where we're walking. I'm sorry, what? Yeah. I'm just sat here. Remember her yeah, no, he's just... Let me call him. I'm okay. just sat there. Can I ask you a question? I'm adding <laughs> liver poisoning to my collection, by the way. Nice. What's that going to cost me? Uh... <laughs> Not a crazy amount? Define Ooh. liver poisoning. Uh, let's get uh, a gold's worth of spirits. Uh, yeah, okay, okay, um... Slightly less ridiculous than the other system of... Uh, yeah. Gold's worth of spirits. <laughs> that would've been... Two bottles. That's a lot of... So you can get two bottles of whiskey. Cool, I'm gonna start... I'm gonna start gently. Okay, yeah. It is midday, Gentle for sure. Gentle liver poison. In his pantle, I'm gonna start mind, gently. Yeah. It's five o'clock somewhere in the world. Five o'clock somewhere. It's always five o'clock in Offlock, that's what I say. Because <laughs> the sun's going down. That motherfucker. Yeah, um... So is there anything you guys particularly want to um... do? After, like, just a bit of conversation, I want to see if I can find, like, um, like a town hall or something. Is that a thing? Um, you haven't seen one around. Um, Ask around, look for one. There, there would be uh, one on the second floor, yeah, and there would uh, obviously be, like, yeah, the, the, the big town hall would be on the second floor. Uh, Can I go the there? city hall. Uh, yeah. You make you you get directions over to and make your way over to this uh, large building, sort of big, quite tall. Um, appears to be a city but city hall of some kind. Gonna do some investigating, guys. Do you want to come? Uh, what are you investigating? Uh, uh Anne. Stuff. Anne's stuff. Wasn't she out doing that? Was. Well. She I don't know, she's, she said that we should find out whatever we could about our family, right? Well, she was gonna go grave robbing or something. I mean, yeah, but usually that means, like, sit around and wait for her, but she doesn't want us tampering in her business, probably. She, no, that, that's like the opposite of what that sentence means. Is it? Go, go investigate something for me, please. Oh, I bet she means we shouldn't investigate it. Yeah, but if, okay, but, okay. Pitchy this. Yep. We, Every we go. Time. Oh, wait. Here you go. Handle, go on. F F okay, pitchy this. We go <laughs> over there, right? We go, hey, do you know these people? They go, yes, kill us. I can't even Matthias come back here, ready to meet us. Well, I we wasn't gonna wait. ask him that way. That's really stupid. I'm just kidding. Oof. It was smart. I was just. You know, it it might work in some contexts, but not in this one. Anyway, I'm gonna go now. Okay, bye. That was a lot. I think a lot just happened in about three seconds. Eh. <laughs> Cockhammer, Grandpa. I think we're I think we're gonna go oh. investigating a thing. Hey, hey, Pandal. <laughs> uh huh. Do you think they got a room covered? Uh, a room covered here? I give like the slowest forced wink ever. <laughs> is your eye okay? I like, is there a... Is like a sign of you get an infection or something? You alright? No, 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 like, no. look at his eye, is it infected? Uh, it doesn't appear to be infected. It appears okay. old. Yeah, they're gonna have a broom covered. Why? Do you want to buy some more brooms? No, I mean, no, I mean you know, get it, and I'm gonna do another wink. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it takes like 10 minutes a broom wink. cupboard. Why? Why? It's getting, midday. Getting, clo getting closer. Uh, okay. Uh, you want more buckets? What? No. Col colder. Uh, I think I want to fuck you in the broom closet. Oh my god, Rick. Oh. <laughs> oh. I, what? Okay, I'm <laughs> not following, Karkama. You might have to. Da 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 da. da. Right. I'm gonna cast a message to Cockhammer. Yeah. 
can you speak like in current year, please? <laughs> I don't. I don't know what the current year is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, no, he cannot. I'm just gonna sort of like look to Sarif for emotional support on this one. <laughs> can you translate Sh this? Shrug. <laughs> Not just me, right? It's it's you at. We need Molly. Molly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm halfway down the street. <laughs> yeah, she's like wandered off. The, the the place with all your slaves. Yeah, what about it? Why do you need it? Because some people get weird out, like Sarif. Not weird. Yeah, but why why are we why are we? Stop beating around the bush, just say I'm gonna, it. like, move my right arm a bit. So you want- wait, okay, you want people to cut more of your arms off? I'm very confused. No, no! No. I just wanna, like, do stuff. <laughs> like, people don't like this stuff for some reason. Okay, do, you, okay. <laughs> do you want to check off? Is that what's happening? <laughs> okay, I'm just like, I don't really it's want like, to masturbate, my dude. It's like Get it's the mansion. It's just one guy that actually shows off the wrong function with his arm. Oh my god. The vibrant. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay, tell you what. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go out, we're gonna go outside into an alleyway. I'm gonna make the mansion. I'm not gonna ask you any more questions. How's that? <laughs> Works for me. So I think we're, we're missing a other half lengths, so we should probably go deal with that. I'm gonna like go outside, cast the mansion into like uh just an alleyway. Yeah, you can find Guys. one real real close. Yeah, obviously usual pe usual peeps on the guest list. Yeah. I'm and I'm just... gonna go try and find where the other one went. Only just know that... So I've been like talking and saying things to you guys out loud for the last like five minutes and then I turn around and just went, Oh what where did everyone go? <laughs> I, I, I just noticed, D&D Beyond, I looked up the Mold Earth, and I have an Amazon um, ad for a yodeling pickle. Why? Because... I don't know. Why is that ad still around? Why does it stay around? It's always that ad. Yeah. It's either that or the life-size Velociraptor suit. <laughs> I was getting that one. You realize it was based on your previous purchases, right? <laughs> That's a I what have you people been Amazon. doing with... Pickle-shaped objects and velociraptor Honestly, suits. Honestly, I don't, don't think about it too much. I don't think that's very based on previous Guys? purchases. Guys. So, uh, so where are you right now, Molly? You still in the bar? No, I was like walking oh, down oh. the street towards the town hall, oh, like okay. talking out loud, just going. So when we get in there, we should probably ask about this and. Huh? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> And we'll just know it there. Yeah. <laughs> Can I try, we we try and find her? I feel like we might have lost an uh, friend already. Uh, yeah, she's not that difficult to find. She's got, like, halfway down the large street you were on. Okay, there's like, small, one eye. I imagine, the I imagine there's a lot of people weird. just, like, very noticeably avoiding her. There's a couple. Uh, she actually, talks to herself. You know, you're sort of in a retro area. Yeah, you are. There's quite a few people giving you giving weird looks in one direction, sort of hurrying away from one area. It's the talking to herself, not the fucking eye. Okay, interesting. <laughs> uh, it's definitely uh, one of those things. Yes. <laughs> okay, oh, I'll... there you guys are! And then I turn around because I saw you, because my eye can see behind me. Yes. Oh my god. What? Oh. It only gets worse. <laughs> yeah, she can see so all around crazy. her. She can't close her eye. It's great. Uh, you sort of ran off. I left Cockhammer in an alleyway. We should really probably go back and get him after he's like done whatever he needs to do. I'm very confused about that. Okay. Um. So I was gonna go to the town hall. Yeah. You said we were sort of gonna wait for Cockhammer to do that thing. Oh, he might take a while. Well, I don't know. He was sort of very vague of what he was doing. So I was just like, well, you don't know back. how pent up he is. What? I mean, he's been pretty quick in the past. Yeah, I mean, oh my god, it's pretty fast. He's been—he's very hasted. Let me tell you. An <laughs> <laughs> arm that moves pretty quickly. He has a fire <laughs> for that, I believe. We're gonna—I'm gonna turn around and go back to the fucking mansion <laughs> to see what Cogham has been fucking up to because I literally don't know what he was fucking on. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so <laughs> I might be an idiot, but like I definitely missed in that in and out of character. <laughs> so yeah, you uh, head back to the mansion, Ali. You uh, 
I'm gonna just roll my eyes and <laughs> go to the town hall on my own. Okay. I don't need you guys. One of your eyes, like, rolls I'll, normal. I'll go with Marley. One of your eyes rolls normal. The other one just does a 360. Uh, and yeah, you, you head off towards oh, the town to hall. <laughs> so, um, Coghammer and Panda, what are you guys doing? I'm gonna work out what the fuck Coghammer wants. I'm doing some polishing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> polishing the crow. Are you polishing your rod? <laughs> are you actually just cleaning your fucking arm right now? Is that. No, no polishing I'm polishing rod. the like, thing to make it look like a mirror. My hat. My pot. Your pot. Your invisible port. Is this. Okay, okay, okay I've got well. a question. I have a lot of questions right now. Eh? Ah! What? <laughs> this is my house. Hello. Welcome. This is my room. Yeah, it's my house, motherfucker. Look, my, my, my room. <laughs> yeah, that's your dead friend. And I'm gonna like point over to the armor and have it say something back in uh, Cornfield's voice. Well, that's mm. just an armor stand. <laughs> okay, apparently that's just an armor stand. I was fucking lied to by my servant. That one's getting fired. <laughs> Is that actually just what you're- I thought we were gonna go do a thing, you know? Help our friend! And Do you know how hard it is to run when your legs are as short as mine, Cockhammer? Kind of? Yeah, it's- it's awful. I just ran back here. Reminder. Do you know how hard it is to run when you're as old as I am? <laughs> I imagine you have like a little wheelchair for that, so you'll be alright. Just invisible, oh, you can't see. <laughs> Professor X over here. Reminder, no, no, hammer, Professor the X dwarf X. is the second tallest in this group. Yep. Yes. <laughs> you know what, Crockhammer? You have fun just polishing away in your room. Look at that fucking cold body. Then what, what, the, what, is, what are you doing? Gonna like. Uh, take out, like, uh, bleh, make the Tinker Tools go out of my arm. Okay, yeah. And pull out the little ivory figure. And you could. I'm so confused. The reef goes all crazy when I do anything with my arm. <laughs> I thought you, like, were having a stroke. <laughs> <laughs> there was the twitching. <laughs> That was that was the incoherent speech. I was so concerned about you, your fucking robot arm. And she was like, "I'm a bit arts and crafts." <laughs> yeah, I assume if if Sarif doesn't like it, there's probably other people that don't. I mean, yeah, I sure. I... Vegetables disprove your case. <laughs> yeah, that's true. You know. You know? I'm pretty happy for you, Cockhammer. I'm just gonna walk out the door. I'm just gonna just close the door. Just go find the other two. <laughs> okay. So... Tiny halfling legs. Remind me to get major uh, major image to uh, make a dancing carrot. Oh god. <laughs> so, Cockhammer, you are looking for. Uh, you're you're making another check, yeah? Yeah. Okay, go ahead and do that. Your Tinker's Tools Dex, I believe it was. I will add it to your total. Jesus. Fucking. Okay. Well, yeah, my mice, my mice is like slowly dying. Yeah. Uh, so, no. I'm gonna use I... luck. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> that one. Another one. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay. I'm um, happy for him. <laughs> I've, I've taken my glasses off because my nose hurts. So let me um. Uh, let me put my face on a 25. 24. It was a 29 yard. Yeah, I, I can see that. It's 25. I'm sorry, I'm just. 30,000. Okay. It makes a billion ivory statuettes. Coghammer, do you have um, enough diamonds to sort of. Uh, diamonds or other small jewels to encrust this ivory statue? Uh, I have a, a big old pearl for identify. <laughs> Oh my god. That's not gonna be enough. Is it not? I think it has to be jewel encrusted. Uh, to start with. I mean, I can encrust a big jewel in it. Yeah. Place one of your eyes with just a massive bulbous pearl. 
Uh, right, let me let me check the wording on this. Uh, it is. Uh, a statue of yourself carved from ivory and decorated decorated with gems. Worth yeah. at least lots of money. So it, it's gems. Um. Cut it in half. Two gems I've done. Diamond dust. Uh, dust's not really gonna work. Dust, sort of a dust, you know. It's like a powder. Ah, I have like no money. Oh wait, the chest. <laughs> Come on, camera. I have like no money. I, I'm so poor. <laughs> um, yeah. Other than essentially, other than that, you get it completely done. Uh, but you will need to then uh, acquire that material component and uh, implement that in much the same way that. Uh, can can I put the pearl in there as my belly anyway? You what? can if you want. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. Belly. You know what? Yeah, you can if you want. Um, it'll sort of it'll lose you know, the pearl, but you can absolutely do that. You can have a pearl. Well, belly. there's still the pearl, so I should be still be able to use it as identify. Actually, yeah, that's no, that's that's entirely fair. Yeah, you, you can still use it for identify, but the pearl will be part of it. You could do that. Yeah. Sure. Be consumed. <laughs> uh, yeah. Belly. Yeah, yeah. The statue are consumed. No, they're not. That would be <laughs> super brutal. Yeah. So you get this big, uh, big round pearl belly. Okay. Just like the real cock hammer. <laughs> yeah. Can, uh, depending on how much time it takes, I'll uh, yeah. get to work on something else. Then. Okay. Uh, it's probably. Uh, yeah, with how much you had to add on to just beat the DC, uh, that'll uh, probably take most of uh, the rest of the day, or okay. uh, not most of the rest of the day, but like uh, until sort of mid evening. Yeah. So we'll see. Um. Right. So two of you are heading to the town hall because this group has decided that it's going to split in as many ways as possible. I tried <laughs> to stop them. I really did. <laughs> okay. Are you, you're going with them as well, Panda. I'm trying to fucking catch up with them, yeah. I was trying to check on Cockhammer to make sure we had fucking died of a stroke. Okay, so you're trying to catch up as a uh, as a halfling with a monk and a barbarian. And a, yep. Both of whom have increased above normal base walking speeds. I'm very motivated, okay? <laughs> if I see him, I'll, I'll uh, slow down. You're not going to see him until you get there. <laughs> Bed some, <laughs> yeah, in a little ways. Just, to, just to check. When we uh search for a gate in Yosa, it gave us the one outside Yosa, right? Just clarify. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I thought so. Yeah, the nearest gate is the one uh where, where Pius is. I just gate to the town hall. I'm like, stop, fuck faces. No, unfortunately, you can gate, uh, but it will set you back four days walk. If you would like to do that, <laughs> I think I should just go somewhere else in the world. Honestly, let's split this party just, further. You know what's just great... dimension door um, <laughs> at us. Just poof, 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 like you, nightcrawler. You know what's a great idea for you to be? Malakadi. That would be a great place. That would be a, a great place for uh, your friend here. It will the... be the next stop. That one. That's a good idea. So, yeah. yeah it is, because I need the fucking spell book. <laughs> Um, well, we need to stop the world from dying, so... Yeah, but I'm gonna be much more efficient at that if I have a spell book. Oh, you sold your soul to a lady, my dude. <laughs> <laughs> he but you're not the gave his name anyway. to a lady. So, anyway. Um, yes, yeah, you, so you two, Sreev and Marley, you two arrive at the town hall. Uh, as I say, it's a quite large building, but it's tall. Um, as you go in, it seems to have a sort of central, uh, like, chamber for, obviously, like, meetings or whatever. And there's multiple, like, floors to it where, uh, like, balconies uh, to a big, on a big stage. So that, um, like, lots of people could, uh, like, watch or pay attention to one thing from said balconies. Not that there's any stairs up to the balconies. Uh, is there like a reception at the front door, or...? Uh, there is a receptionist office. They're not actually at the front door, they're sort of off to one side. Okay. Uh, but there is, yeah. Is the, are the balconies really high up? Uh, they're, they're yeah, about sort of, so. um, 15 feet up between them. I can, I can get there. Job that. I can probably run that. 
Yeah, you're a monk. <laughs> you kill not for vertical surfaces. Yes. Yes. Um, Do I see Pandal running? No. At... Okay. I will tell you when Pandal arrives. All right. <laughs> um, well, let's just walk up to the reception. Yeah, sure. Going into the reception to see what happens, very much. Okay, yeah, you oh. walk up to the receptionist. Um, there's an Aaron Cocker behind the desk, it sort of looks up at you. Hi, um, sorry to bother you. I was wondering if uh, you could tell me anything about the Ryko Peters family. <laughs> oh, I'm sure that won't work. Goes I thought we weren't really. gonna be so straight up. Oh. The receptionist oh. looks at you. So um, Eve just kind of cocks his head to the side and looks at Marley. The receptionist does you pretty see, much the um, same thing. You see, I have a little bit of business with them. Uh, I talked to them a couple years ago, and I really haven't heard from them very much. So, uh, well, my family business sent me out to see what they were doing. Um, I haven't seen them around town, and no one seems to know where they are. So I was wondering if you have any records on them? Like... Yes, we have a few records. I am sure. Give me one moment. And, um. Press this big crap button underneath the desk. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, uh, our cocker woman, like, stands up and comes around, around um, out of the receptionist booth. Um, Does she look like she's going to call security? No. Okay. Um, yeah, get, like, comes out of this receptionist booth and, like, comes around and, um, Come with me. All right. She looks like she's gonna bring you the security. <laughs> leads you over to um, like one section of the town hall. Uh, we have to like go down a flight of stairs, and you head down sort of underground, um, and into this sort of catacomb of um, chambers and rooms and sort of offices of various sorts, and eventually leads you through to a. Uh, a room that has uh, racks upon racks upon racks of these uh, shelves, each one containing single sheets of paper. And uh, starts searching through. They're all, uh, they've all got like uh, bars over them so you can't like reach through and touch the paper. Uh, and pulls off a, a key off a chain eventually. And like opens one up, takes a piece of paper out, locks it, closes it. And this goes on for a little while. Pandal, you arrive at the, uh, at the thing. There's no one there in the town hall. Is that like a little, a little dinghy? A ding ding? A dinghy? Like the, uh, the, the little bell. bell. Yeah. Ding ding. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a thing that makes a ding, a so it's a dinghy, yeah. There. A dinghy. Uh, yeah, there would be a little bell that you just, like, could, like, pick up and ring. Oh, it's a pick-up bell, is it? I don't know. Well, yeah. You know, Sweef, I feel kind of bad about telling Pandal that his plan was really stupid, because I was thinking it over on the way here, and I thought, you know, just asking might be the best way to do it anyway. And now I feel like I'm kind of mean. Do you think I'm mean? They said it in front of the woman. Okay, <laughs> you say that in front of the woman who's leading you through the archives. No, I say that silently to Sweef. Silent. While she is uh, looking through all the papers and taking... <laughs> leading you through all the papers. she's still okay. there. Yeah, she's like right there. Like, leading you through the archives. Um, okay. Like, I assumed we were just kind of, like, a bit of behind her and she was just going through all the, the pieces of paper, like, nope, nope, nope. Yeah, that's pretty much what's going on. But you're not that far behind, because, uh, with paper, with writing on it. Uh, and so, yeah, she eventually she'll turn around, holding, um, a certificate of some kind. And like looks at you. When was your last contact with the Ryko Peters family? Might I inquire? Yesterday. <laughs> Maybe 16 years ago? Unfortunate. This here, and she turns around a uh, like piece of paper, states that the entire Ryko Peters family was killed in an accident 16 years prior. Hmm. That's uh, probably why we haven't spoken to them then. Hmm. Was it I'm like an Sonic. accident accident, or was it like an accident? Well, it appears to have been a house fire. Oh, that's pretty nasty. 
Do, do, do they know what caused it? The house is quite flammable from what we hear. <laughs> like, <laughs> fuck's sake. Did any of the other houses burn down? They lived in a detached house. It does not appear to have spread. That's good. Like, points at the, uh, sort of, like, report that, like, they list, lists, like, cause of death. Number of very long names listed after it. Five of them. May I see that? I no. Better... Uh... Is there anything else of note in that report? Like, looks it over. No, there doesn't appear to be. Unfortunately, they died 16 years ago. Well... Um, I'll have to tell my family that they're not getting their money back. Um, thank you so much for your help. Like, cock said to one side. Of course. Well, let's go, Sarif. Alright then, miss. Do I get any service while I'm sitting here ringing a bell like a fucking knob? <laughs> <laughs> He's just got there, he's just hanging just the bell. Oh, he's like a ding 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 it doesn't appear that there's uh, anyone else here to listen to the bell and get no service. Um, if I pull out my flute and start making flute noises that sound almost like a bell, does it travel further? Oh my god. It's pretty difficult to make flute noises that sound like a bell. Yeah, much like <laughs> regular flute noises. It travels a little further, probably. Maybe. <laughs> um, but after a few moments, Sreve, Marley, Can and... Uh, an Ara Cochran woman that you don't recognize would re-emerge. By the way, at this point, I'm playing the flute with my normal hands, using the mage hand to ring the bell for a bit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> oh, hey. Hello. So, I uh, followed your suggestion, and it was actually a really good plan. So, uh, it all worked out in the end. So you know, just, just, just ask my family. Yep. <laughs> Find anything? What's that? Did you have like a like a like a? Well, we found out that my family business is not getting its money back. That's shucks. <laughs> so, just gonna um... just gonna move to Pandal with very little subtlety. Just go with it. <laughs> So, wait, hmm, is there newspapers in this town? Or is that, is that a thing? Newspapers are not a thing. No. Newspapers well, are very expensive shit. Yeah. Based on the fact that uh, writing, when covered, will fuck itself up, unless, like, warded with an expensive spell. Yeah, no, newspapers are not a thing. Yeah, it's kind of a thing. It's also why every, uh, everything, uh, the, 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 all, of, all of the files are single pieces of paper per shelf face up, and you're not allowed to touch any of them. That's why. Uh, so, um, I don't think there is much to know here anymore. Uh, apparently the whole family died, so... Thank you so much for your help. I hope you have a good day. Come on. Cool. We walk like, out the door. Put the bell back. It just sort of... <laughs> Back out of the door. <laughs> yeah, you head out, and as you walk past, um, you get a, how can I help you? Handle. From whom? From, from behind the desk, there's an Ara Cochran woman. Um, yeah, I'm backing out, with out of the door. I'm yeah. leaving. As, as you walk that, she like, says that, watch as you go. I, I'm actually, I found the people I was looking for. Got to get them back to their... Box, you know? <laughs> box people. <laughs> box. I'm talking about a bard, is this like? I don't know if Marley's idea was more stupid or Pandal's. Yeah. <laughs> I always gotta fucking try and stop them doing anything stupid. I think they just did. You, you're making <laughs> more stupid right now. I'm leaving. <laughs> and then it just says, like, okay, let's get back to Akane. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna meet the two of them outside. 
You know what, Panda? I called your idea stupid earlier, and I feel really bad about it because then I just totally did what you said we should do, or what you joked. Okay. I don't know. You missed the bit in the middle where you disguise yourself as different people in really any way. Did you do that bit? You sort of missed that bit because you ran off while I tried to get Coghammer, who's, by the way, well, very busy. I can't disguise myself <coughs> as a different person. I could disguise you as a different person. You sort of missed that bit of the plan, didn't you? But you didn't actually tell me that plan. You were sort of, you know, down a street at that point. I was like, hey, let's go get Cockham, and you were like, okay, and then you left me again. Sarif, how 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 much did we tell we did we tell that woman? Um, uh, um... okay, okay. We so... we did ask her about uh his family just 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 be like hey yeah. this fam how long yeah. ago was this roughly well oh. i asked her um if she had any records on the psycho peter's family because they owed my family business a lot of money and i was sent to come find them because they hadn't talked to us in 16 years We're walking and talking back to the mansion, by the way. I don't. Yeah, I'm not yeah, standing I outside of the I assumed that. Town hall. <laughs> well, yeah, what level of spell slot I have to use to modify memory of this woman so she doesn't remember any of what you just did? Uh, I don't think you really uh... have to. I mean, I don't know you guys. I've never been associated with you guys. Yeah, that's the problem. We've been associated with us guys. <laughs> well, I mean, only Sarif is here and he was kind of quiet in the back, so it's fine. I don't really know what to say. I mean, it just kind of happened. I understand he is very inconspicuous. Did a great job, Sreve, I'm sure. Of course. <laughs> but... Okay. Did you... So you, And you didn't learn anything new? You just... Oh no, they're all dead. Well, I learned that it's classified as an accident, which I'm pretty sure... I asked him if it was an accident, I, I mean... accident and they didn't really answer. Well, she said it was a house fire, like that, and she said that it was classified as an accident. So, if it is classified as an accident, that means that whatever government is here is trying to cover it up. I thought we established that was the case. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> was I here when that when we established that? Is that not in the yeah, mansion? Yeah, kinda. Yeah, yeah, this was talked of in the mansion. I think so. Hence my confusion at this entire scenario. I'm sorry, I thought we were all on the same page about this, and I was like, well, what are you doing? <laughs> what purpose does this serve? Uh, yeah, I thought we'd sort of got that far. Is there a sort of a, a follow-up to this, or are we just like, oh, cover-up? Hmm, a follow-up. Mm. lead? Maybe like... You see anyone suspicious, Sarif? Notice anything? Uh, suspicious? I... Not really, no. Uh, the... I mean, the receptionist, she was a little sketchy, honestly. Why'd you say that? I didn't Why like her much, yeah. I don't know, she just like... Just covered feathers, or...? Yeah. I like quills, they're sort of sketchy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> her beak was a little off. Feathers and a beak. It's like yeah. a... It's like a snout, but it's... It's, it's not... It's weird. It's it's like it's li basically a snout that's lying. That makes sense, but yeah, there we go. <laughs> right. Mm, maybe we should go to like a library or something. Is is there a library here that's gonna have every all its shit warded, uh... or would it's, as it's kind of close to Milikardi, or would they just use the Milikardi one? Yeah, on what I know. Uh, considering this is the only place that has a, uh, a university that rivals, um, Yosa. Yeah, sure. It's uh, not rivals, just rivals Korra. Korea. It's quite probable. Um, also, you know, travel to Melikardi, pretty fucking difficult. That's true, I suppose, yeah, because the dome. Oh, we could ask someone? Also because, you know, traveling through the wilderness, super dangerous. Mm -hmm. well, yeah. Uh, yeah, you... <sighs> uh, you could assume there'll, there'll probably be a library. Is it gonna rival the one at Melikardi? No, not even close. It might rival the one at Coria. Yeah. <laughs> Matthias is like a one room of books long. Yeah, it's a single uh... largish room. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was all hot shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm really sensing that we should, uh... 
No, no, that's sort of wait for the now. grave robbers to come back and then work out what we're doing from there. Oh, we never said we were going to go grave robbing. Yeah, oh, Matthias, you. you're back. <laughs> oh. Yeah, okay, hi, Matthias, what were you doing? We're well, like, oh, we're going to go look at graves. I back, that's the best bit. I don't think you are, but I'm I don't you? think you are. <laughs> <laughs> well, alright. Yeah, that depends. What have you... Did you guys go back after you were done looking around? Um, yes, I would have yeah. gone to drop off um, oh, to land in, right, you, a, okay. in a square nearby the tavern. Yep. Dispel it again. Uh, that's three <coughs> polymorphs. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Um, Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go on a bit of a walk. Got um, a few things to put in order in my head. Okay. You go meet up with the others, I'll be back before um, sundown. Okay. Yep. And I'm gonna do exactly what we discussed, Yargon. Okay. Oh, get I don't some... like that at all. Oh, get... that's a... That's <laughs> fucking oh, sketchy. I don't like that. Oh, right. oh no. Matthias, so... you get a lot of really weird locks as you suddenly just begin to sort of float off with glowing <laughs> feet. I'm not gonna do that in front of a car, mate. Jeez, fuck. Well, you're doing it in front of people because you're in a I mean, city. Yeah, no, I don't give a fuck. You get a lot of weird locks as you uh, do the float with fire coming out of your feet um, mm -hmm. and out of your lower leg. They're uh, just jealous. As you float on off, yeah. Uh, it'll take a take. Fucking like ten minutes to get up there, and then it will take uh, not ten minutes to get down because I believe pulse stretch is the one where you can be like no fall damage. Um, oh really? I think nice. so. Yeah, it's like reaction. Yeah. Don't take full uh, damage. Yeah. So. Um. Yeah. So you you know. Uh, it takes you fucking like twenty minutes to do this, so you'll be even longer from everyone else. Mm -hmm. But Akane's there as you guys arrive at uh, sort of at the alleyway you were looking for. Akane's like nearby. Akane, like hi, you're lost. nearby. Did you just say that? Her name or did was you say Anne? Anne? <laughs> I, was say, I assume she's not actually right there. No, she she is. She's Oh she oh she actually just right there. I thought sorry. Yeah, I thought as they, you guys know. I thought they were like two hours in the graves. Yeah. Has it been that long? Have we been running that long? <laughs> I mean it takes you like 10, 15 minutes to sort of get across town to go find the uh thing. It take it takes like a while for you to go through the records. Like, that on its own could take half an oh, hour, okay. and then there's, uh, there was oh, okay, okay, uh, other okay. talk, was there was, long? yeah, the, uh, there were about enough time for this to, so yeah, she'd be sort of there. Okay, uh, so we, there, we had a bit of a chat about my treasure, so. Yeah, and also oh, the good. nonsense with Cock Hammer. So, yeah, oh, but they, uh, Anne is yeah, there, looking a bit way. lost, oh, uh, uh, stood outside the tavern as you arrive. Ah. Alleyway, let's go, have fun. In alleyways, that's where what? fun happened. Okay. We go into the alleyway and, like, go into the mansion. You see this old man just sort of look at... Look at the two halfling women? The large lizard folk? And... The two halfling women, okay. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, the halfling woman, the kidson woman, or human woman, I suppose, the... Uh, lizard folk. Uh, and, and sort of give you a very questioning eyebrow at that. As he walks yep. past. Jorgen. We like to have fun here. I'm not going to my fucking house. Jorgen. <laughs> I, okay. I, I yes, kind of would like pretend to go in last and then just head off somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yes. Yeah, so you go to walk it follow oh, them and then just turn around. Where? Yeah, where are you going? Yeah, at the last of the thing. <laughs> Back to where I just came from. <laughs> okay. Why are you going to the end? Okay, so I'm going to turn around. I'm going to close the door and be like, okay, so a cut. <laughs> With invisibility cost of Where'd she go? God, I swear okay. she was right here. Are we trying to find her? Okay, so yeah, I thought so. Well, I thought we should okay, right walk outside. Anne, where is Anne? Rick, where Rick? Where are you going? First level in. Okay, how you're gonna have We're to? Just there. The building next to the inn. <laughs> okay. No, on the second level, right? Yeah. Yeah. That, yeah. You got low, but you will just start that end. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> but third level, if she cast oh, invisibility oh, on herself I and I course. walk out right as soon as we notice she's not followed us in, I can see her if she's within 120 feet of me. Yeah. So. Oh, okay. What? Yeah. Did she... you not have to use key for that or something? Nope. No. So That's yeah. My eyeball, so does eyeball, that. Baby. Holy shit. As she as she steps out, yeah. Uh, you oh, see a carne. You see the faint glow of um someone who's like semi transparent from uh the invisibility spell. Uh, wow. Run over. Just here. Run over to Anne. 
Yeah, I can't. Hey, she seems doing? to be able to see you. <laughs> uh, Twelve and hours, she's just what? talking to nothingness. Uh, <laughs> she she runs off. I'll I run after you, man. Oh Fucking way faster. Okay. <laughs> Why are you fool? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah? Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? This... Are you two are going to chase oh, no. Marnie, then I'm going to oh, get no. like a lift from Sarif. Yeah, I'm just going to lift a pendulum and yeah, just start in, running. I can drop my uh, human form and fly off. Uh, yeah, I guess, technically. It's, yeah, you see her return to her true form and uh, Marley, and she suddenly begins to sort of like fly off off into the air. Faster. <laughs> uh, uh. You're still being outrun by Marley. Oh, yeah, she's like ridiculous <laughs> fast. Yeah, but... <laughs> I got a loser probably in the air, I guess. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no. Step of the wind triples your jump height. Fucking do it. Kick it. <laughs> Back of the heat. Just, just tell out me of the where you're going. Uh, if jump up and break a wing. <laughs> as, soon, as soon as you're flying, you, you, you are not audible because that is kind of loud for big wings. Quite loud oh, and quite yeah. obvious, as everyone is aware that there is somebody flying past, but they can't see them. Just like that, right? Because he has a drop invisibility. Does she not just say that? What? Or is she still invisible to do this? Yeah, yeah she's, she's still invisible. invisible. Oh, she can fly because she's a Kitsune. Yes. Yeah. Oh, wait, Kitsune. Uh... Because she's she's Tori, which is winged one. Yeah. I'm gonna poke my head outside the mansion, Tori. <laughs> you don't see oh, anything. I don't see me and riding off into the distance. What's going on? You know, uh, none of this was be happening. Molly told us what you were doing. <laughs> I think she's a threat. <laughs> you know what? Bye, I guess. I just waved. Like, sorry. But she called here probably. Yep. Molly, what are you doing? Actually, I sent her a... If I sent her a message, I, do, I don't drop um, invisibility, do I? I think you do. I believe it's because you cast a spell, spell, you do. So. Yep. Yeah, unless uh, you have a spell, you do. Oh, Even when... that's a good point, actually. What? Uh, you would have dropped your invisibility the second you changed form because. Yeah, that's, uh, that's, uh, is that a spell? Is it a spell? Uh, it's it's not. Well, it's a spell. physical shape change. Actually, it, that's it's a, good a physical power. shape change. So yeah, you would do. Physical shape change. The spell ends for a target that attacks or casts a spell. So. So really, your discretion, Yorgon. Yeah. yeah I um, I'd say I'd say that being essentially a spell-like ability, it's close enough in nature to be an. In innate, uh, like spellcasting ability, but you would so, technically drop it. So add his four kits in form above <laughs> four a four kits in form above the square. Why are we doing this? We're such I, fucking I, I morons. Just, I recast it then. Recast his ability. Yeah. Okay. So you you for a brief <laughs> moment pop into existence. Everyone sees her, and then she just vanishes again. <laughs> what the oh, there fuck she is, is oh, happening? She's got her again. <laughs> What? No, she's she's What's flying right on? over there. She's there, there, and out of my range. <laughs> I want to polymorph Sarif into a giant eagle. <laughs> <laughs> Just in the middle of a street. In the middle of a street, the, the lizard folk turns into a giant eagle. Uh, jump on Sarif's back. Yeah, I was gonna say I'm already on Sarif's shoulders. Do I just auto athlete the combat? Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah oh I guess God. so. Nice. Go, 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 go! I can see her. I can see her. Just gonna clap the legs together and flap up and just fly. I to wanna full sprint off so I can like can. hopefully yeah, get out of the side. Yeah, you no, can he's not. way faster than you. I know, but like, not they sprinting. Gotta, so. hey, they gotta uh, they have to find her get first. Uh, he's, uh, get Marley. Marley can. They, uh, she has to see well, me That's again. not gonna take more than like. Uh, okay. And Marley can see Think about it this way. That's gonna I take about two. Okay, they can do 160 feet in a turn, and that's going to take about two turns, in which case you'll get about, uh, what, 80 plus 80, so 160 feet turns, lead. In two turns, I can get, um... 160 if feet? If I dash more. Well, yeah? it's 80 feet for, uh, if you're dashing, right? So that's 100 and, yeah. 160 feet over two turns. We have they, 80 feet base. We can they can do 160 feet hide. in one turn. Yeah, but they first have to pick up Marley and cast a spell. That's yeah, what I'm saying. Then, Marley, that, I cast the spell, Marley jumped on, Sreve went. Yeah, that, uh, it's an efficient so process. It's gonna okay. take about, like, two turns maximum. level, my dude. We're good at this shit now. Uh, <laughs> what's going on? Yeah, quite calm, you see them turn into a giant gonna... bird, like... You guys, you guys definitely don't know it was Koi Kami. He's like down the street at this point because you were chasing a carne down the street. He was fucking whittling, I don't know what's going on with him. Uh, right, why don't I have to spell magic? <laughs> 
I have to stop. Yeah, well, if you did that, it, 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 it would, it would piss us off. Two, you would lose invisibility. How yeah. far away is the heavily loaded eagle? Uh, <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Fuck out of like oh, uh, I'm like 160 feet if it's one turn off. Gok Ammo, slow them down. No, no, no. <laughs> this, he saw you turn into an eagle. Oh, um, God, God car camera, I'd say they're about, let, let's call it 250 feet away from you. Oh my God. I have no idea what's going on, though. You don't, Me. no. You just know but that everyone's, they're... Everyone's, like, running away all of a sudden. They're like, there she is, <laughs> and... Oh, no, because you did see Akane appear for a brief second and then vanish again, and then... Was... It was so hard us get confused about where Anne was when we wa yeah. walked into the mansion. Yeah. We're very loud, they're like, where the fuck is Anne? <laughs> not really, but you can sort of... Well, car camera might not be able to, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> well, he might be able to by tomorrow. So can we catch up or not, is the question. Yeah, we, yeah uh, you guys can catch up. Um, I would or say... at least be within 120 feet so that I can see where she gets. I'm, uh, I'm gonna dimension door, like, uh, 200 feet in front of the eagle. Like, oh on God. The, like, on the oh. building or something. Okay, yep, you just bloop into existence. You guys see Cockhammer just appear on a building. Uh, I'm gonna shout at them to fuck! <laughs> I'm uh, chasing uh, with a Speak with Ark! Cockhammer appears on a building with an arm that's not got any skin on it, right? Oh, yeah, okay, shit! <laughs> uh, <laughs> the, fucking... uh, the, the thing worked with the skin doesn't. Oh, actually, yeah, no, good point. Yeah, that does. Okay, so you, the, you've got an arm that's got like a bunch of tools that are just like just finishing retracting like into your arm. Which, uh, Sarif, if he wasn't a giant eagle, would probably say something about. But, uh. <laughs> Square! Because <laughs> it's like a snap. What, is he, what did you say? Did you just say what the fuck? <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. Um, and I, uh, you guys, taken off in front of. Uh, what's the plan? We're following a car. Yeah, chase. I don't yeah, think I'm following. So you, you guys are giving a car. Following my loose instructions. A carne. I'm gonna like wave Five my hand. Yeah. Uh, roll a stealth, Shreve roll a perception as a giant eagle. Well, shouldn't Ooh. I roll a perception no, because she's you shouldn't. technically invisible? She is invisible to you because she's outside of your range. This is her attempting to essentially no, oh. get away and stay out of your range because even if you stealth continue in a straight line and she goes sideways stealth out of the range. Okay. Uh, no, just. F perception oh. plus four for this... a giant eagle, by the way. So Actually, no, this would be a, with advantage because you're fucking invisible, technically. I'm cutting words because I can't see it. I'm gonna inspire Sarif. I'm like, I find her, Sarif. Uh, I have. Is it say because I have advantage of those? Uh, yes. Okay. We're on a wild. Fox How would it be sight? <laughs> She's invisible. I feel like I should be making this. Sure. No, you shouldn't be because you I can't this see. This situation is a fucking. But I can. Actually, I have an eyeball that can. No, you can't like... because the out oh, of the range. Is... Oh. If well... anything, it's hearing based. Also have a thing. Fourteen. Uh, no, hey, I got oh, fired you, motherfucker. Uh, 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 D10. Uh, uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Sa does Sarif have advantage on sight-based hearing checks? Sight-based hearing checks. Um, sight-based perception checks. Yeah. How are a you? Eagle, gonna, yes. How are you going to try to see an invisible creature? With yeah. your eyeballs, dumbass. <laughs> uh, uh, either way. Doesn't actually matter Stop because hopping. eight plus yeah. seven uh, yes, plus three, four eight. doesn't actually right. matter. Uh, mm. I would argue that it would be um, no, you, you see stuff like... that's happening around her. Yeah, like, we could see people just go panicking. Like, what the fuck's going on? Stuff I'm like flying. that. Flying rather that than that seeing her direction like because you're f air. because you're flying over what? a city full of people. <laughs> also, we're a fucking giant eagle, my dude. <laughs> yeah. Uh, either way, okay, Akane basically. They manage to track you long enough for the, like, turn or two that it takes for them to, uh, uh, get to the point where, um, Marley can see you. And, yeah, you're gonna struggle to lose them from there. <laughs> God damn it. Because they outrun you. Can I, um, shake the to the hell? Can I shake the to some buildings to lose them? <laughs> Can't uh, carry you, I don't think. Not, not really. <laughs> I did, I, did, I did say, we're chasing Anne, figure it out to you, Cog Hammer. Yeah. <laughs> I should have taken Ethereal-ness. Uh, what? Are I'm you casting Ethereal-ness? Oh my god, no, is this happening? 
That also wouldn't make a difference. It wouldn't make a difference. I can still see you. She can still see you. Way. She's got yeah. true sight. <laughs> You've got uh, perma uh, true sight. Holy yeah. fuck! Yeah, she's a god. I'm gonna cast the invisibility. Okay, yeah, you cast the invisibility. Uh, What's the range on that? There's no range on it, so. <gasps> oh, uh, yeah. Sh <laughs> right, because you cast it on yourself. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you see. Whoa, whoa, okay. You see her. You see Akane, being, uh, trying to get away from everyone else. Full pursued by. Eagle and crew. Yeah. <laughs> That's a reef girl and crew. Uh, gonna attempt to walk my way over. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Okay, you have a base walk speed of 25. So yep, and I'm on a roof. Okay. Well, well, yeah. Grab well, I'll do the fucking. I mean, I just cast spell, but next time I can cast something, I guess. Okay. So the problem. That you're going to face is A, uh, roof, probably difficult terrain for a sloped roof. Yep. B, uh, the roof is going to end, like, yep. just like gonna, 10 feet from you. Just going to, like, look around, ah, oh, shit, and basically wait till I can cast a spell again. Well, yeah, you can cast a spell again in sort of narrative time. Yeah, uh, cast the mentioned or right on top of her. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, just on top of her. <laughs> directly on top of her. Okay. <laughs> Big dwarf man crushes small fox girl color eyes. <laughs> yeah, she's actually gonna be pretty close at this point because... Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, cog hammer. What is this? God, right, how do we do this? Because th th there needs to be some role for fucking precise timing. Uh, precise targeting. Go ahead and make a spell casting ability check. <laughs> oh, my favorite. <laughs> Poor Kokama. You have luck, Kokama, I believe in you. Uh, that is a, was that a 12? Come on. <laughs> okay, uh, do you want to use luck? Are you taking the 12? I'm taking the 12. <laughs> okay, he's confident, he's cocky. Oh, Jesus. Akane, <laughs> yeah. what's your dexterity modifier? Um, plus two. Okay, so that makes it <laughs> just about. I, I, I like it. No, oh. <laughs> Kokama makes it only just. DC is three. DC is twelve because your dex is plus two. Yeah. <laughs> Kokama yeah, appears on top of you, Akane, and I assume immediately sort of just grapples you. <sighs> just like, ah, I, fuck, no, what? <laughs> I can't carry him, and he probably is blocking my wings. Yeah, you probably can't. How high up are you? Oh, I would no. probably have been a bit up <laughs> out of Marley's sight. Okay, well, her sight's 120 foot range. You don't know that. Uh, yeah, a bit I would up. have gone like at least 60 feet up or something. 60, okay. How far are we all there at this point? They, oh shit, they're falling! <laughs> uh, I'd say they're about like 60 feet in front of you guys. Okay. Maybe cast Featherfall if I think if I think they're gonna hit the ground before Akane can recover. I'm I'm going to try dive to get to get to them, try and help somehow. Um, <laughs> Just, yeah, you won't be able to get them in, get to them in time. You would either have to cast Featherfall uh, immediately, or they will fall out of your range like basically instantly. I will I'll cast Featherfall then. Yeah. Okay. Cockhammer's just attached himself to Invisible Akane. Like, yeah, so I can't Cork see Hammer. Invisible Akane. Oh, I can't see Invisible Akane. Oh, you can't. And it, a thing you can see, isn't it? Uh, of, I, you only have one reaction as well. Oh so my god, this is... There's we, so many technicalities when happening. When you are a creature Please. with a... You choose, falls, you choose oh, a oh, you can see. Falling creatures within range. I'm going to choose Akane and Cockhammer. <laughs> oh my god. Is it, I'm going to choose Akane and Cockhammer. Is it technically not a creature you can see? Well, no, it, well, when you, you're That's a creature within 60 feet of you, fools, choose up to five falling creatures within range. If falling creatures rate up to sense, those 60 feet per round or until the spell ends. If the creature lands before the spell ends, it takes no falling damage, it can land on its feet, the spell ends for that creature. Huh. Okay, then. So, I know she's there. A Coghammer's yeah. attached himself to an invisible fox girl. Yeah, okay. Therefore. So, you're further falling both of them? Yeah, just both of them. Okay, yeah. It also slows Akane's flight as well, so that's convenient. No, it doesn't. It just oh. does, just uh, slows her fall. But yeah, Akane and Kokama. Akane's flight uh, sort of slowly drifts sideways and slows down due to air resistance because she can't really push herself forward anymore. As Kokama's like clinging onto her. 
She's down go. there, she's down there. Oh, you can follow Clockhammer now. As, yeah, as the two of you begin to sort of gently drift down. Can I uh, shake him off? Oh my shake god. Him. Uh, shake him yeah, I suppose you can certainly try. That's an opposed grapple check, so... Clockhammer, that's an... Uh, the... Uh, fucking right. basically acrobatics? No, athletics. And Akane, that's acrobatics or athletics. Yikes. You can't use decks to grapple, you can only use decks to escape. Ah. Uh. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. So, yeah, uh, as you... No, technically not an attack. But, um, yeah, as you are still invisible and falling gently, uh, attempt to shake off Coghammer, but Coghammer is, like, iron fist clamped around you. Uh, Misty Seth. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Oh okay. I... Can I counterspell that? Uh... No, because you can't see it. I can't see it. <laughs> Can I can't just... Hold on. Well, hold on, yeah. <laughs> well, hold on. When you, it oh, breaks when you cast the spell, so she starts casting the spell, yes? Hold on, hold on. Oh, uh, I... if I simply cast it. Oh my fucking god. Stop cast. Oh, well, oh, that's god. a bit late now. Yeah, bit late. Also... bit late, you have to declare that first. Uh, so Pandal, wait, I'd, say, I'd, I'd say... I'd say... Because I know where she is, I just don't see her, but then she starts casting. Does that break? Or is it when it is cast? I, I'd say, um, in sort of yes, but in, but also not fast <laughs> enough. I'm gonna let you get off <laughs> your own spell in that time. I, I, it's mm, also what can call techni do it? technically. Can I think call you call just him? used your reaction for this turn anyway. For talking technicalities, to close yeah, by the fall. Uh, but for Cogham, absolutely can do it. Oh, um, yes. <laughs> so Cogham, yeah, give, give it a I'll counter spell roll. Actually, it's Misty Step, it just fails. It has to be at third level or higher, so he's Yeah, just no, it just it. fails. But so, she's invisible now, so that's great. Yes, so Akane, you pop back into visibility in full Akane form. It all gets in form. And your teleport oh, no. fails. As you what are you doing, you fucking <laughs> moron? We're just trying to talk to you! <laughs> I need to do stuff, let me go! Oh, why did you just tell us what you're doing? Yeah. That's how you could have avoided this. You could have said, I need to go do something. And be like, oh, okay then. No, you just went, okay. Why are you being edited. shifty? Why? I'm so confused. You shifty bitch. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <sighs> are you also, by the way, falling very slowly while this happens? Uh, unless. You're flying next to you guys as you go. Technically speaking, <laughs> you're flying. Unless Reeves moving his full movement speed every turn, you are falling. Oh, oh my god. god. <laughs> <laughs> Can we just circle around them as they fall? Yeah, you have to, yeah, just... You have to just circle we'll just around them. We're just We're circling around them. I'm, like, I'm like making frantic gestures with my arms, but I have to keep readjusting because they're at a different angle to me like every three seconds. Oh my god. I'm just like to shout at them and I'm just frantically squawking at them. <laughs> I will translate everything he said. Fuck that cockroach, just let me go. This is fucking ridiculous. Don't trust her! What is she planning? <laughs> uh, I subtly cast another Missy Step. Uh, can you higher cast Missy Step, actually? Uh, yeah, it well, you technically can, but no effect. Yeah. So I cast it at third level because I don't have any second levels. It's, and I subtly cast it for a spell, uh, sorcery point. Okay. She vanishes out of your grip, Cog Hammer, and appears 30 feet away from you. And then I subtly cast invisibility. And then turns <laughs> invisible. I can still see I'm going to cast a spell magic. magic. Oh, 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 I just saw her do that. Both Cog Hammer and Marley can both still see you. Okay. Can I, yeah, can I just spell magic the area? Because I know oh she my, just did that. No, you didn't know I no, got it. No, I think to spell magic, you have to specifically oh, target magic. a thing. Oh, does it? Well, it's, okay, that's fair. I don't, I don't think on, that's I'm gonna, look, I'm going to read them. Yeah, it, it's... So you choose any creature, object, or magical effect within range. Any spell of third level or target ends. Magical effect. <laughs> any creature, object, or magical effect within range. No, I'm going to say you can't just choose... I choose to dispel this thing in this area, unless you can specifically... Uh, like... I did just see her do that. I know exactly I... where she was at time of invisibility cast. You did? It um, doesn't say you have to be able to see it. It, does, it doesn't say you have to be able to see it, because you worried. can't technically see magical effects, usually. But it's you can see, or you can see part of the effect. I'm, I'm going to go with no, 
Um, okay, just because sort of the intent of the wording on that, I don't think that's what that's oh, for. Fucking kill this fox. <laughs> well, I can still see her, so we're still following, right? Yeah, we're still going. Yeah, okay, you're still following. <laughs> we're still on Cerevegal as well, so... Yep. How many people are watching this shit? Basically oh, everybody <laughs> that's around. <laughs> Making this worse for myself. We're out of this fucking city. She has backstory here. Yeah, I was like, oh, okay, I'm gonna help her out. No, she teleports me. Fucking hell. Yeah. <laughs> I'm done being reasonable. I'm gonna fucking turn her into a rabbit and then we're gonna deal with this in the mansion. <laughs> I'm just gonna cross my arm. <laughs> I'm just gonna cross my arms and slowly sink to the floor. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> oh my god, I'm that really sure sorry, Coco. <laughs> Yeah, Kokami, you, right. you sink the remaining. You sink the remaining like ten feet down to the floor. Ball of metal and rage. <laughs> uh, would would I be able to carry two small creatures and a dwarf? Mm, yeah, recently. Short short amount of time. Yes. Well, we might, if we're flying to a different island, I wouldn't risk it. To be honest. I have a not. I have like three more casts of Fed Four left at least. We are fucking fine. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Fuck it, I'm gonna pick her up. I'm just, um, before I run after, or fly after Akani, I'm just gonna dive down, grab, um... Cold camera. Cold and my claws, and head straight where Marlowe is I wanna down. try and dash Shomar that I can zigzag to lose them, possibly. Okay, you can, so you're gonna... Why are you making this hard for yourself? ...dash into, like, an alleyway between two buildings, or? I wanna do stuff! You, you could do it with me! I could have said, I've got personal shit to do. I'll be with you guys in a minute. We were like, oh, we had some important discussion to have with you in the mansion, but that's also fine. So, Akane, you are going to dash between, like, an alleyway between buildings or something? Yeah. Okay, yeah, you go into an alleyway that's too small for Sarif to follow, but you guys can still see her. Oh, fuck. We can follow from above. Yeah, you we just sort of fly, fly over. <laughs> <laughs> So that would work ridiculous. really well if we were on the ground, but we're not. Yeah. So, our <laughs> Sarif got is stronger. Praise Sarif. <laughs> so, at what point do I throw the giant rock at you guys? Because at what point have you wasted enough resources? <laughs> uh, I haven't wasted any resources. Yeah, I'm I cool. cast on mansion earlier today. For I'm gonna cast invisibility at fourth level, level and make all of us go invisible. Oh, oh my oh, god. Oh nice! <laughs> okay. You're all invisible. It's still relatively still obvious over. where the giant eagle is because it's loud. Wind as well. I'm yeah. Asking. Yeah, but we could, we could, we could, yeah, we have a bomb in the form of a dwarf. We'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, okay. So, uh, Cockhammer, you lose your ability to see a carne, but you all go invisible. Uh, see, invisibility is not concentration. Is it not? Okay, yeah, my not bad. An hour. Yeah, then you all so, uh, by the way, just the force is on you for another like fifty seconds. So if he does oh drop God. you, just fall very slowly. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, you all go invisible. I thought this the spell ended when he lands on the ground, doesn't it? Yeah, it does, but I don't think he did, did he? He, he did land on the ground. Oh, he did. Right? Okay. It, he was, it was like, like ten feet landing. above it, so yeah. He was like floating down, and they got grabbed as he was like, oh, okay. the ball of angry but he, dwarf. he was yeah. honestly that's even better. <laughs> he felt like. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, no, you could, you absolutely could have done. There was about 70 feet up, so yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so Akane, what do you do? You're in, in an alleyway, I... hiding from your own party. There are people, um, You're sort so of like giving you all concentration. really Just... weird looks. In alleyways? Well, yeah, you sort of made a big distraction, all of you. There's a lot of people... I mean, I they can't they're not looking you. at us directly because yeah. we're invisible, yeah, we're but they're looking around at like, what There's the a lot fuck of is all this with? A lot of people <laughs> running, running around, looking around, and eventually you see a number of towns guards start approaching. Oh, oh no. no. Because of course they do. <laughs> they start, Why did you have to follow me? They start going through questioning Why people. Why did you have to be so shady about running away? You can't ask yeah. them that now, what are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> I'm <laughs> Okay. Ah! In, a, in a silent alleyway, I land and like hide in a nook oh, or something. Yeah, you can't fly down the other way. Hmm? You, you can't fly down the other way. It's too, uh, what you call it? Yeah, it's too, too close for you to like get your wings out fully. But uh, yeah, you. I so... still have feather falling, so I close my wings. Well, that would make you visible. Uh, but yeah, you. I sort of assumed you just walked in there. No, he still has. She has I like literally stopped flapping my wings. Yeah. That wouldn't make me visible, right? Oh, that no, but casting Featherfall. 
No, but I, I still have to fight off me from Pandal. Both cock hammer. Oh, right, yeah, sorry. Okay. I can't both. Yeah. yeah, so yeah, you just sort of gently float down into a fucking. Uh... How high up are we? Uh, if you guys want to be over the buildings, the you're going to have to be about like um, 80 feet is, would be roughly up to the. Like, above the buildings where you could fly reasonably. Okay, let me just check something really fast. Oh, God. Where is the thing? <laughs> she watches how far monks can fall without taking damage. At like, 13th how level. Is my slow fall? <laughs> Isn't it basically forever? The 13th uh, level, pretty 30 much. Level five times. Be. What's five times 13, guys? Over. You're so. You're over 500 feet. You're so fine. Okay, Google. God. It's not. It's not over 500. It's. What's 5 times 13? Uh, plus 3 times 5 is. Uh, 15, 65. So yeah. Yeah, it's like, it's like forever. Okay, so, and how much damage do you take for, what was it, 60 1D, feet? 1d6, uh, 80 feet is sort of the, the absolute minimum, um, I'd say. There's no way! Okay, I'm just gonna jump off and, like, fall fall down where she was landing and, like, three-point three land. Okay. Right next to her in the alleyway. <laughs> You're gone. I assume I hear death. <laughs> you, you, you fucking see it! <laughs> she just lands right next to you. Is she invisible? No, I'm invisible! I oh, god, next... yeah. Oh, this Everyone's is invisible. Me and Sarif don't even know she's fucking gone. Uh, from, uh, just, oh, I would, because I'm here on jumping up. We're here on jumping up, we don't know where. And, and you take... Back. One point of falling damage! <laughs> Why are you rolling with D6? You take one point no, of damage. No, 65 is how much damage it, it's it's reduced by. So you still roll the damage, but I oh, reduce it. Oh, right. Sorry. I thought oh, it was... Wow. Jesus, fuck. I okay. You roll 65. No, no, no. It's, um... So you roll... You still roll the 80... I reduce by... Sorry, I thought 65. it was just 65 feet of I don't care. So I'm fine. No, no you, you heal. You heal. <laughs> Minimal damage Three is always really... Poof. Yeah. You see her as, like, some concrete that like, cracks slightly. They're like the paving slabs. <laughs> One of them just okay, sort of shatters on the whole way. Okay, and I know that yeah. you're being really shifty yeah. and weird right now, but um, all you really have to do is tell us what you're doing, okay? I... Oh, we made a massive mess now. I just need to go do stuff. Well, why didn't you tell us? Why are you being so weird about it? Are because you okay? Because trying to stop me. As you guys are having this fucking <laughs> loud uh... conversation down a, um, an alleyway and... One of the paving slabs just fucking exploded. <laughs> 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 fucking a trio of crowns guard, uh, not crowns guard, a fucking. Uh, Are they starting to walk into the alley. Yeah, a trio of guards like approach. In there. Uh, like, push you against the wall and try to like blend in with the wall. Can I land on the roof? And just squawk as loud as possible. Yeah, it's <laughs> quite loud. Um, <laughs> oh, God, just just spook them. <laughs> We're uh, fine, we're stealthy, the and invisible. The Arakaka and stuff, they're not, like, all that sp- what, What's going on down here? <laughs> this lad- Crap! <laughs> Throw up of them. And you see them, like, look up and- look, Looking down the alleyway. Does it just- Are they just like, what the fuck? Oh, yeah, they're they're like, kind of like, what the fuck? Yeah. But they're also, like, <laughs> trained guards that have dealt with nonsense like this from- Okay, that's fade. Nothing uh, to see here! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh. Smile away, boys. The problem Smile is, away. these are guards that work in- the weaving, though. They work in a town, one of, one of the cities that has a really big university, where they teach magic. And if you can imagine <laughs> what university students with, like, fourth to fifth level spell slots are like- <laughs> Oh, Jesus. <laughs> They're... Much like us, I'd imagine, actually. Yeah. <laughs> They're not that unused to dealing with invisibility and other nonsense magic. Just... The giant yeah, so eagle... A little bit spooky. That's why I'm trying to be super but... quiet and, like, pushing yeah. myself against the wall. They can't see you, yeah, but they are definitely, um... on the lookout, let's say. They're not as spooked as you'd hope they are. Show yourselves! Please go. Please go. What, one of them just yells, show yourselves. I'm gonna make a confused call. Oh. I stay silent. <laughs> and press myself against the building. As far as I can. Right. I, I need to go for a shower right now, so. Okay. I'm almost to shout at me. So, 
Um, oh yeah, shit. We haven't had a break yet. Yeah, we're yeah. about we're about to go for oh, it. I have a, I we need to reveal Salty are seeming us all and it'll all be okay, I promise. Oh no, they're gonna be cows. So, what are gonna be cows, it's gonna be uh, cool. It should be all uh, small. Are you really doing that? <laughs> you, I can't you, see any of you, so no, not yet. When we reveal, I can. You guys uh, see a, uh, a discussion between two of the guards and one of them quickly darts off, um, running away more towards uh, some of the guards' barracks. Oh and that's, no. And that's where we're gonna like take a break. Too. I so, don't like this fucking system anymore. What the fuck was that? We'll be back next time. <laughs> <laughs>